This is a nice block of ice, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty clear, it's quite large. I can make one of these every 30 hours or so, so that's usually plenty enough for my home needs. But what if I decide this is not enough anymore? What if I would like to make five or even 10 at the same time? That would be great. But then I would have way too much ice to hand cut. I would probably go to the hardware store and get myself a saw, and then it would be like a dream. I would have more eyes than I could ever use at home, and all my blocks would be perfectly cut. Professional, quality, clear eyes at home, more than I can ever use. That sounds great. I wonder what that would look like. This is completely nuts. The guy right now has like four cooler in the making of making clear ice. And then he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 18 big blocks of clear ice. And also some that are already pre-cut here. And uh, Luca, you say you have more in your freezer, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is complete nonsense but in a good way like a nice level of craziness that we like so now we're gonna take one of these and we're gonna go and cut it in his kitchen with a saw in a home i love it <laughs> Yeah, this footage I shot it exactly one year ago in Quebec City, literally one week before jumping on a plane to move here in France. And life being what it is, I never got to finish the video and to be honest, I kind of forgot about it. But when I found it back last week, I looked at it and was pretty amazed. And it reminded me that there's a little story behind this that I wanted to share with you because I'm sure you're going to find it interesting and quite inspirational as well. So obviously this guy named Luca is not making such a high volume of clear ice at home for his own consumption. And no, he's not running a speakeasy in his apartment. So here's the deal. Luca is a friend of mine and we met very briefly before I shot this video. We have some friends in common and we were introduced and we connected and we have some passions in common as well especially photography and the booze industry but within the booze industry our interests are a little bit different mine is very broad cocktails spirits of all kinds but his passion is really towards and dedicated to gins a few years ago he quit his day job that was in the architecture industry to concentrate on a special project that he had he wanted to share his passion for gin through tastings workshops and he decided he would launch a company called le voyage autour du gin where he would go to your house with literally everything that you need to learn more about gin to taste some gins and to make some workshops around gins and his signature when he first started was to bring some clear eyes with him to elevate the quality of the presentation but at one point it got popular and out of end so he needed more clear eyes and instead of buying some he decided it would just up his production scale so he bought six coolers one freezer and a few weeks after when he realized that it was just like too much of a hassle to cut that by end he bought also a saw and when he called me to tell me that I was really stupefied <laughs> yeah that would be the word so i grabbed my camera and i went to his place to see how it would look like 
And what you saw in the intro is literally what he does like a few times a week where he needs to prep for his presentation. So I think it is awesome. Oh, one more thing that he also bought is a Yeti cooler so he can bring the ice with him without it melting. So obviously he's doing a great job and where I think it gets super inspirational is the passion behind it. I mean, I am extremely passionate about cocktails and everything around it, but sometimes I just wonder if it's too much. But when I see someone like Luca, who's also very passionate about what he's doing to have some success, then I get to think that it is probably the key to love what you do, make it with passion and the rest will come. And speaking of which, we just hit 85,000 subscribers on this channel, which is completely crazy. I never thought I would get so many people watching my videos when I first started. So thank you very much. I highly appreciate. I'm extremely thankful and I hope you're going to stick around for a long time because I love to share my passion for cocktails and everything around it with you guys. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching, if you're still watching, because that video was very unusual, but I really wanted to share it with you. So before we go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next video, which is very important. And until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.